Hi my lovelies, how are you all? Let me know in the comment box below. My name is Anjali and welcome back to my channel. We have Diwali next week so I decided to create a look for Diwali that I would like to wear. So this is the look I finally came up with which has like pink shimmers because of course no festival look is completed without shimmers. So yeah, if you like to see how I created this look, then please keep watching. To start my makeup, I am going in with my Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Balm, Power Eye Balm. And I'm applying this cream uh, under my eyes and also onto my eyelids. And to moisturize my skin, I am going in with my Body Shop with Ceramin oil, just a couple of drops. Today, I'm going to start my makeup with uh, my eyes. So, first of all, I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime orange color corrector. And then I'm going to blend it with my fingers. Next I'm going in with my matte paint pot in the shade Soft Ochre. And again going to apply it with my fingers. Now to set my eyelids, I am using my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm taking this uh, banana shade right here and setting my eyes. Today I'm going to start my eyes with my eyebrows first. So I am using my L'Oreal Brow Artist Expert. And I'm going to fill in my brows. Then using the spoolie, I'm going to blend everything in. For my eyes today, I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution Soap Palette. And I'm going in with this shade light right here. Uh, which is called Fairy Light. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone. Next, I'm taking this shade right here, Cup of Tea. And I'm going to put it into my crease and create the transition next I'm taking this shade right here called tiramisu and uh, I am again going to put it into my crease Then I'm going in with the shade Danger right here with a smaller blending brush. Tapping the most of the color onto the corner of my eyes. And then whatever is left on my brush, I'm bringing it in. Then I'm going in with a clean blending brush to blend all the edges out so that there are no harsh lines. Then I'm going in with this pink shade right here called Strawberry Sweets and applying it onto my lid. Then I'm going in with this uh, pink champagne shade right here with the same shadow brush. And I'm going to spray my brush a little bit and applying it over the pink shade I applied before. I'm again taking the shade Danger on the same small blending brush. I just and I'm just going to deepen the corners. And 
then blending everything away into the crease and once again going in with the shade cup of tea just to make sure everything is nice and blended for my eyeliner I am going in with my Maybelline hyper precise all day liquid liner and I'm going to create a really small wing For my mascara today, I am going in with the Maybelline Classic Volume Express Mascara. Before starting my face makeup, I'm just simply going to clean all the fallout. Again, slightly going in with my vitamin E oil just to make sure my skin is nice and moisturized. To prime my face today, I'm going in with my Essence Keep It Perfect uh, Makeup Fixing Setting Spray. Makeup Fixing Spray. And I'm going to spray it onto my face. And then going in with my Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Multi Action Makeup Primer. Next, for my foundation, I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in the shade NC42. And taking my Real Technique Miracle Sponge, I'm going to apply it all over my face. Also going down my neck. This is a pretty full coverage foundation so I'm going under my eyes before going in with my concealer. Then for my concealer I'm going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Honey. Onto the usual places of my face. And I'm going to blend it with my mini miracle sponge from Real Technique. I'm also covering my scars with the whatever is left on my the sponge. Recently I changed my skincare products and uh, I don't know if I started actually trying something new and I had some acne breakouts and now you can see Next, I'm going to contour my face using my Laurel Infallible uh, Foundation Stick in the shade 220. Slightly contouring my nose as well.
and also my jawline and then I'm going to blend it with a blusher brush For my nose contour, I'm going to use my finger since I'm comfortable with my finger to use to blend my nose contour. Next, I'm going to set my under eyes first with the same banana powder from my NYX um, highlight and pro palette. I'm just going to make sure there are no creases. I'm also going to dust the places uh, where I need to highlight my face. To set my contour, I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Bronze Palette and I'm using these two, I think these two center shapes. I'm not really going to use a contour powder for uh, setting my contour, I'm just going to bronze my face a little bit. To set my nose contour, I am using a blending brush because I just feel comfortable with a small brush for my nose. And I'm simply going to set the contour. For my blush, I'm again going in with my NYX Sweet Cheeks palette. Because this is a very versatile palette. It has five shades and three blush toppers. So I think this is something you can carry anywhere. So I am going in with this pink shade right here today. And I'm going to apply it onto the apples of my cheek. For my highlight shade, I'm taking this shade right here from my NYX uh, Sweet Cheeks palette. And applying onto the high points of my cheek. Also onto the bridge of my nose. My cupid's bow and my chin as well. I'm also going slightly above my brows. Just to make sure my forehead is also highlighted. To finish my eyes, I'm taking my Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Automatic Eye pencil and applying it onto my waterline. I'm also going to tight line. Then I'm going to blend my lower lash line with the same danger shade onto the smaller blending brush. And I'm just going to blend the kajal out with it. To 
finish my eyes i am going in with the same mascara maybelline classic volume mascara for my lower lash line lower lashes i mean And for my inner corner highlight, I'm again going in with the shade Fairy Light. And just going to apply it to the inner corners of my eyes. So we are more or less done with the makeup, only the thing that's left is the lips. So I'm just going to remove the lip balm. First of all, I'm going in with the Rimmel London Exaggerate Lip Liner in the shade Obsession 064 and I'm going to outline my lips. And also filling it in. So that I have a nice base before we put the lipstick on. Then for my lipstick, I'm going in with my Chambord liquid lipstick in the shade 432. Uh, I'm not sure if you can find this Chambord lipstick everywhere, but uh, you can use any reddish, orange, or any favorite color you want so we are more or less done with my makeup and i'm just going to finish off with my nyx dewy finish setting spray so that my makeup is locked and nothing moves throughout the day So this is the completed look my friends. I went ahead and completed the look with my jewelry and of course no Indian look is completed without a bindi so I did go ahead and added that and I also added false lenses off camera and uh, in case you're wondering I used uh, the MAC 33 lashes and all the products will be mentioned in the description box below so definitely go and check it out. And if you like this look then definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, don't forget to hit the bell button so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Wishing you all a very safe and happy Diwali. Till the next time, goodbye and take care.